again. How are you doing? Oh, it's been a hot one this week. Whew, summer is here, right? One of God's creations, one of the four seasons that he created. Well, today's going to be our last day that we talk about creation. It's been great and I've enjoyed spending time with you talking about all the things that God has made. Everything that you see, God created. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Well, the Bible says that God made the whole world. On day one, God made the night and the day. So remember how we did this? Oh, it's nighttime. Now it's day, right? Nighttime? Daytime. That's what God did on the first day. Okay, on the second day, God made the sky. See this up here, this blue sky? Look how pretty. Well, what kind of things are in the sky? Well, let's see, we got clouds, the sun and the moon, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit because God only did the sky. He didn't do the moon and the stars just yet. Okay, uh, also in the sky, what else do we see in the sky? Hmm, rainbows, we have birds, and uh, you could fly a kite. A kite would be up in the sky then, right? I'm sure that you guys have all flown a kite, right? If not, Go get your mom and dad, help you fly a kite, okay? All right, on day three, God made the land, the, the plants, the grasses, the trees, the flowers, everything on the land. That's what God did on day three. On day four, he made the sun and the moon. See up here, guys, right here's the moon. Over here's the sun. The sun's been out a lot lately. We talked about that in summer, hot, right? Okay, he also made stars. Now, do you remember what we do to show twinkling stars? Pop, 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 those are twinkling stars, right? So God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. He did that all on day four. Guess what he did on day five? On day five, he made the birds, and the butterflies, and the fish. <laughs> he made the fish in the seas, shark, right? Yeah, he made a shark. Yeah, he made that one too. That was all on day four. No, that was day five. See, Miss Ronna can't even count today. I need you guys to help me. We're on day five, right? Okay, now. I want you guys to run around your room or even outside and pretend that you're a bird. Can you flap your wings? <laughs> flap them really, really hard. Maybe you'll get off the ground, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sometimes I wish God gave me wings like a bird. He didn't. He just gave us legs and arms. That's okay. Day six, God made the animals. Look what I 
I did. I had our little kids riding the animals today. Can you imagine riding a giraffe or an elephant? Oh my goodness, might be kind of fun. <laughs> but he made all the animals, your dogs, your kitties, um, cows and horses. He made them all. And he even let man name them all too. So we're gonna talk about that. On the sixth day, he made people, he made humans. He made boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas. He made them all on day six. And you know what he did on day seven? Cause he really, really worked so hard. On day seven, he took a break from his creating and he rested. He set that seventh day aside. He made it holy. He wants us to worship him and enjoy all of his creations. And we are supposed to rest. Now, when we think of rest, what do you guys do when you rest? Do you take a nap? Hmm. Miss Rod likes to take a nap. Just let you know. Um, resting is something that we have to do because we're human. But you know what? God, he does not grow weary. He doesn't get tired because he's God. All he did on that seventh day was just to take a break from creating. He just set it aside so he could, you know, maybe hang out in a hammock, relax, and just enjoy all the goodness that he created. God is so good to us, and we just love everything he created for us to enjoy, and uh, he, he lets us know that he loves us, and he set aside that one day, the seventh day, to rest so that we can think about him pray and talk to him and enjoy his creation. So what I want you guys to do this week is I want you to talk with your mom or your dad or your grandma and talk about all the ways that you can keep Sunday, the Sabbath day, holy. How can you rest and relax and enjoy God's creations? So I want to hear how you guys are relaxing and enjoying and keeping the Sabbath day holy. Let us know about it, okay? Have a great week, kids. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.